another edition of Morts and More Moment. Um, we're back again with a question from one of our followers on Instagram. And he asks, um, I have a question regarding this brush here. I use this brush on my suits to clean off dust and lint, but it seems like the friction from the brush is taken off a layer of the fabric of my suit. I did a flannel suit on it. Am I being paranoid or is this fabric lint bad for my suits? So, um, Joshua. What were your thoughts? Um, to be honest with you, it's surprising because um, the type of brush shown inside this question isn't exactly um, the most abrasive brush in the world. So um, I'm surprised that it's taken off a layer of your fabric. But in terms of is brushing your suit bad for it, the answer is no. Uh, we would recommend that every man have a suit brush. Mm -hmm. um, Brushing your suit, yeah, all women, yeah, you're right. I mean, brushing your suit not only keeps your suit looking good, but also extends the life of it. Reason being, because it removes debris and dirt, dust, small particles from within the layers of the fabric. So what that does, is it prevents the stitching from loosening and then falling apart or tearing or whatnot. So brushing your suit is definitely worthwhile doing it. Now, you need to get a specific suit brush. We wouldn't advise you using something like one of your shoe brushes, it's very coarse. It's very hard, it's, then that can tear away and take a layer away from the fabric. Um, what we'd recommend is you go online and pretty much just type in suit brush and you get something that looks similar to like that. For most wool fabrics, most wool suits, yeah, a suit brush is definitely recommended. So in addition to a suit brush, some of you may ask about lint rollers. Now, whether it's the peelable ones or the, which other ones are there? Or whether you sell a tape or whatever it is. <laughs> What's the difference between a suit brush and a lint rollers? We say we recommend you use both. If you're gonna pick either or, pick a suit brush. Reason being is because a suit brush is able to get into the fabric, into the actual fibers, whereas a lint roller tends to pick off things from the surface. Now, if you use both, you get the best of both worlds and you get a supremely clean suit. So if you've got time, do both. If you haven't, just a suit brush is sufficient. Would you agree with that, Sam? Fully agree. Perfect. I have both of them myself. As so Joshua does. <laughs> exactly. So now, how would you brush your suit? For most of you haven't got a suit mannequin, so more than likely you're gonna be storing your suit on a hanger, on a clothing hanger. This will probably be the best place for you to brush your suit. But for this video's purposes, we're gonna brush it on Senna himself. I'll be the clothes horse. He'll <laughs> be the clothes horse. However, if you have someone around you all the time that can brush it on you, it's probably even better to have it brushed while you're wearing it. But as we know, that's probably not always the case. Yeah. A hanger will do. do it on what you want to do is, you're going to start first of all with the lapels. You brush in a downward motion, in line with the fabric, and not perpendicular to it, so you keep it all in line. Then you're going to move along to the collar, and brush it down like so. Do you want to turn around? You also then want to lift up the collar, to get underneath to the cashmere, and do the same, and brush in a downward motion. So after you've done that, you then want to start working on the sleeves. And you want to work from the armpit and work in a downward motion, like that. You then want to work from the outside and get the rest of the sleeve. And that's it. That's how you brush your suit. It should take you no longer than one minute to brush your suit before you wear it and after you finish wearing it. And if you do this every time you wear your suit, it should considerably extend the length or the lifetime of your suit. Yeah. Right. Right. No. So, um, we hope this has helped you guys um, with regards to your suit care. And um, of course, if you have any questions or queries, please feel free to email us in at ask at mortsandmore.com. Um, you can also follow us on all of our social media channels. So, you can get us on, of course, YouTube, mm -hmm. uh, Facebook, LinkedIn, Instagram, Pinterest, Google, and Tumblr. And I think that is pretty much it. Yeah. All right? Um, yeah. All right, always be, guys. Hi, guys. Uh, welcome to another edition of... Uh, so another question we often get asked is... I'll say that. Another question we often get asked is...